Welcome back, Plug Nation. You already know today you're going to get some great information. Whatever you got to do, make sure that like button is blue. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get it right into the news. So 2K23 has been out for over three weeks now. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below, yes or no, are you enjoying 2K23? You can even do a detailed description if you want, but make sure if you're watching right now to go down and chime in. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the game. But anyway, we have a lot to get into, so I'm not going to waste any time. I've seen these things, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. A lot of the stage community in 2K23 is going back to the goat boat. X Lie said, Damn, bro, I'm sorry, but current is more fun than next. And this is coming from someone who is good at both. Then D Boy responded to that and he said on everything i love next gen is better than current don't be fooled nobody's making a new build and grinding anyway they're only saying this because the lack of games the simple fix is to lower how high the vc quartz is in stage and make the highest court 2.5 so the stage can be lit so it's just back and forth back and forth next gen over current gen current gen over next gen let me know in the comment section down below do you guys like current gen or next gen better hezzy went to twitter and said stop saying current is better than next hard to tell you you are wrong yes they have the same gameplay current gen feeling a little bit faster but the only thing they got is 1v1 matchmaking when we got 2v2 3v3 4v4 matchmaking that's y'all only argument but play what you want so it was a huge just back and forth in the stage community for some reason they just want to stay on current gen for five years in a row and that's what's going on right now a lot of them are going back to current gen now i'm not going to say a lot but apparently the reason why everyone's going back to current that's a stage player is because the vc courts are too high and i'm really confused because didn't y'all want there to be high vc courts in the stage don't a lot of y'all think that you're super comp at the game you can't play somebody for 5000 vc i don't know I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. But anyway, Ronnie2k got into a nasty beef. And just this one video clip on Twitter got 1.4 million views of Clay Thompson telling Ronnie2k to up his three-point rating on 2K. And Ronnie replied to that saying, hashtag rent free. And you already know, man, the Warriors, they got so much chemistry together. They're going to back each other up. Draymond went to respond to that and said, Ronnie, you're promoting a video game, sir. Stop acting like the old media oh man it got hot on twitter it got real spicy ronnie replies and he says sorry i don't have a quote-unquote stimulating podcast to put this on this morning busy promoting a video game like whoa whoa there ronnie calm down buddy don't pull out the nine watch out anyway draymond said you do realize your success is dependent on us right slow down it can get ugly fast oh my gosh what nah it actually got real serious zero to a hundred real quick that is nasty and that was the end i don't think there was anything else that happened but man it got hot real fast anyway joe knows was very upset with 2k he went to twitter to voice his frustrations i'm guessing he got on the game hopped on the spot and his shot meter was on you know his animations were reset something because he said fix the animation reset glitch fix the animation reset glitch over and over that got like 5,000 likes they still have not fixed it yet 2k come on let's get that fixed i'm tired of loading up my game and my shot meter is on or my animations are reset that's got to go but anyway as you all know 2k just recently had the ruffles event for the first time in 2k23 this guy made a tweet and said well they're indeed banning people in ruffles also they taking boosting events serious after two years and apparently a lot of people that were boosting were getting banned you love to see it 2k that is a fat w like i said i love to have these events in the game where it's top 10 top 50 whatever to get rewards but only if you're actually gonna ban boosters and apparently they were clapping a lot of them during the event now as you guys know i got 13th place man i was so close you have to get top eight on a global event that's also cross-platform leaderboards no you don't go in there and play people on xbox if you're on playstation but the leaderboards are cross-platform and you don't have a top 50 or a top 100 rewards i got 13th place i won four hours in a row every single game and i get the same reward that someone could have got for playing for like an hour and a half and winning a few of their games why was there no top 50 the top 100 reward this year ah man it was pretty upsetting i'm not gonna lie but hey man we won four hours in a row i cannot really be mad i'm gonna try it again next time but hey 
All I'm trying to say is, man, W2K for banning the boosters, but please put in a top 50, top 100 reward. It is a cross-platform leaderboard global event, man. It's hard to get that top eight. Very hard. But anyway, as you see, Laker fan said, can we get the market back in 2K23 next gen? I'd be streaming almost every single night if there's a 1v1 non-make it, take it with matchmaking this year. It makes me kind of sad, no lie. So that is the only L that next gen has taken so far on 2k23 is there's been no 1v1 matchmaking and we thought or at least i thought maybe there still will be that there's going to be a 1v1 event in the theater it's been like three four weeks now different events and we still have not seen a 1v1 we gotta have the 1v1 matchmaking back i know that they might bring it into the theater but let's have it at all times just like current gen does that would be a really cool addition maybe later in the year 2k i'm just throwing it out there anyway shout out to phantoms great news channel he apparently hit the jack pot on 2k23 current gen on the spin the wheel you know the daily spin the wheel and this is what he got for hitting the jackpot 5000 vc <laughs> 5000 vc for hitting the jackpot is crazy but he also brought this to attention that apparently if you're telling 2k what is wrong with their game they're sometimes giving people vc and if you're having an issue they give you vc right here it says that this will fix in the next patch i have added 15,000 vc to your account as a thank you for collaborating with the data gathering and being patient during the process at the end if you guys want to read all that you can but basically 2k support is giving some people vc like literally just giving it to them if you tell them a problem you know stuff like that this one says we apologize for the delay we have rewarded you thirty-five thousand vc to your account so hey if you got an issue with the game make sure you go to 2k support and file something you know they might just give you some free vc but anyway we got some more to talk about that later this guy said blah 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 blah, blah. and mike wing said no gameplay changes have happened that i haven't already tweeted about so there has been no gameplay patch no patch at all mike wing is standing his ground this year on 2k23 he is not changing the gameplay at least not yet of course you know they're probably going to change a few things maybe steals on current gen because i heard that they're really bad over there on current gen but let me know in the comment section down below what you think mike wing needs to go and if you were able to just talk to mike wing like for example i'm mike wing right now in the comment section what are you telling mike wing to change in 2k23 gameplay wise now this is another thing that a lot of people for some reason don't do but make sure to spin your wheel every single day you might have just seen that phantom's got 5000 vc but check this out right here t jack went to do his daily spin right when the game came out and i got a little theory i'm gonna give you as well so make sure you listen very carefully you see that dude's a 60 overall i'm guessing t jack was also a 60 he goes to spin his daily spin and you're gonna see that this is what everybody can do literally every day make sure to go spin your wheel everyone can get this 250,000 bc just for walking up to the thing and hitting x or a now i believe t jack was on a 60 overall and i have a theory because my friend who did not have bc to upgrade his player was a 60 overall he went to spin his thing and he has unlimited Gatorade. Yes, he won the unlimited Gatorade before he even put VC on his player. And I think I'm going to start doing that now. It clicked right when I was making this video that maybe 2K has something in their algorithm that rewards people that are low overalls to incent them to try to start playing part, you know, to get into it. So like my friend was a 60 overall. He got unlimited Gatorade. Guess what he did? He went and put VC on his build right after that. I don't know. Maybe it goes by like all your players. Maybe the system knows that you have another player that's 95 overall, whatever. But I'm going to make a 60 overall today and start spinning my wheel on that 60, man. Because there's got to be something. No way. Both the rewards I've seen won this year are both on 60 overalls. And that is not a coincidence there's no way there's no way anyway guys the video isn't over but i want to talk to you and you talk to me real quick in the comment section down below if you're a casual player let's say you play i don't know two less than two to three hours a day let me know in the comment section how you feel about nba 2k23 because i know the game does have more of a skill gap this year with the you know having to time your shot and everything i want to see how the casual player feels about it and don't be afraid it's okay to be a casual player and have a life and kids and a job and all that i don't know why people make fun of that bro go get the bag do your thing whatever you're doing in life you know what i'm saying but let me know how you guys feel about the game i really want to see how the casual player likes the game or not now although i really like 2k23 next gen right now i'd give it a solid eight eight and a half there are a few things i would definitely change first 
are the very obvious controller settings getting reset the animations getting reset the rec wins and season quests and all of that not transferring i know some people's do transfer but mine is very annoying like i've obviously got 3,000 points scored in the park and all my builds say 1400 1500 1600 like it should transfer between all your players and i know for sure 2k did not mean it to be that way 2k is not trying to make people grind to legend on one build that would not make any sense for 2k because then they're going to make less money because they would incentivize people like me to not make any new builds you know what i'm saying and you'd have to play on one build to grind to legend so i feel like they need to fix all that but gameplay let's just talk about 100 gameplay now that i've played the game for over three weeks and i've played every single day you know besides making videos and all that i've been grinding for legend playing at least like eight hours a day and i would say at a pretty decently high level i'm not the greatest comp stage player i don't have to prove that to you know anything like i don't really care about all that stuff but what i'm saying is i put a lot of time into the gameplay and i want to give what i think should change slash like maybe could change right so i believe you should be rewarded more for having a high block and high chase down so what i'm trying to say is chase down should get buffed a tiny bit if you have gold and hall of fame chase down right like if you put all that into those defensive categories you should get a tiny bit of a buff now i don't think that steel should get changed like i said i think unpluckable if you have gold or hall of fame should get less animation slash a little less rips like what i'm trying to say is if you have gold unpluckable or hall of fame unpluckable the lockdown shouldn't just be able to walk up you haven't even dribbled yet you're standing there you're holding the ball protecting it and they can just rip you you know what i'm saying less of those animations but if i got a 99 steel hall of fame glove steel boost on you got silver unpluckable yeah i want to come up and take that ball that's what i made my build to do you see what i'm saying but what i'm trying to say is it needs to get a little bit of a buff slash take off some animations where the lock can just like run up and take it if you put your attributes into that build you know what i'm saying if you put in enough attributes into your build to get gold and hall of fame unpluckable no someone shouldn't just be able to walk up and just take the ball now when you cross into me and i'm on my pure lock and i time to steal right that's a steal every time that's how the game should be right steals are fantastic right now on 2k23 next gen the only thing i don't like like I said, is not really being rewarded for having high unpluckable and them just walking up and taking the ball. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, the next thing that I would change 2K23 gameplay wise is the different jump shot speeds. Now, listen, I'm not saying you should always have the same exact jump shot. I actually really like that when you're low on stamina, you get a slower shot, stuff like that. I think it's a really good addition into 2K that they've had, I think, since 2K21 next gen. But the one thing I don't like is there is no reason on planet earth that i should take a catch and shoot shot with a max stamina standing still and ever ever get a different release speed you know what i'm saying things like that there's like 10 different release speeds you have to time i understand some of them you know you're low on stamina you just hit a step back so it takes time you just caught the ball it's a running catch and shoot you don't get to shoot right away those are completely fine but like there's some where it's like i literally took the exact same shot literally the same and it's a different jump shot speed one's slower one's faster some are super fast some are like 400 milliseconds i feel like where it's the same shot like it, some they just don't make sense some of them do not make any sense so i hope 2k goes in and changes a few of those and that's pretty much it of course you know vc prices are pretty high stuff like that but that that's pretty much it for my gameplay i think the gameplay is very solid right now a tiny bit of improvement could make it even better the game cannot be perfect no matter what but it's pretty good i like paint defense i have builds that have defense and they play defense okay i don't know people complaining about rim running all that i have really really good paint defense on this game so i don't know where that's coming from because i actually put defense into my builds so if you guys made my builds you get rewarded for that instead of watching some people that you know just put don't put any defense into their builds hey i'm not throwing shots if the shoe fits the shoe fits and you know if you want to make a build like that go ahead anyway hit that subscribe button if you're new click one of these two videos right here it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button if you're new click one of these two i got a dribble tutorial best jump shots everything on my channel go check it out man and if i haven't posted anything you need to see let me know in the comment section down below and i will try to get it on my channel for you guys an advanced expert dribble tutorial is coming out soon so get ready for that and i'm out peace